Hi clarinets, in this video I'm going to show you the first three notes on the clarinet. So we're going to start with the note E. The note E is on the bottom line. So on this card I have my first and last name, my five line staff, my treble clef, and I've drawn a whole note on the bottom line because that's E in the treble clef. Because the lines on the treble clef are every good boy does fine. So that bottom line is E. On the back of the card, I've drawn a capital E. And I also have the fingering because the fingering for E is thumb and one um, on our top hand, our left hand, okay? So that's the first note, which is E. Let's see how that plays on the clarinet. So here's the thumb and here's my index finger on my left hand on the upper joint. Check your, uh, check your mouthpiece using that line that you've drawn on the reed. Put it in your mouth and let's play an E. Ready, go. Again, and go. Good job. Now the next note is gonna add a finger. Okay, so let's just do that right now since we have the clarinet handy. We now are going to be pressing thumb, one, and two. Ready, play. Again, and play. The name of that note is, well, here's where it is on the staff. It's actually below the bottom line, okay? The bottom line is E, and so the note below that would be the note in front of it or before it in the alphabet, because all notes on the staff are alphabetical from bottom to top. So if we go down, we're going backwards through the alphabet. So the note before E in the alphabet is the note D, okay? It's right below that bottom line. So on the back of my card, I have a capital D for the note D, and then I've drawn the fingering so that um, I know what it is, and it's oriented the same way it is on the clarinet. I have my thumb, my first finger, because they're kind of next to each other on the instrument, and then I have the my second finger also written down there, but because it's vertical, I'm going to write it like that. So that's the note D. Now, the third note that we're going to learn on the clarinet is this note right here. This is the note C. It's actually below the note D, so I have to draw another line to extend my staff down lower. That line is called a ledger line because it extends my staff. So if the bottom line is E and the space below the bottom line is D, then we're just going backwards through the alphabet. This note is C. And on the back of my card, I have a capital C for the note C. I have thumb, one, two, three, just like it is on the clarinet. So those are my first three notes. Let's play a C now. Thumb, one, two, three. Check that line if you need to. Big breath, ready, play. Again, and play. Now I would encourage you to use note cards or whatever you have handy at the house so that you can practice these with somebody. All they have to do is hold the flashcard up to you so that you see the note. And it's your job to say the note name and to say the fingering. And they can tell you whether you're right or not. So based on these first three notes that we went over, do you remember what this note was on this ledger line below the staff? It's the note C. So you would say C, and then you would say the fingering. Thumb, one, two, three. And then you'd turn it over and see if you're right. So you can do it alone, or you can do it with somebody else. You can also do it with your instrument. If you see this note, you can say C, thumb, one, two, three, and then you can play it on your instrument. So let's do a few. I know these are new, but you'll get better at it. What's this note? If 
you said D, you're correct. What's the fingering? The fingering for D is thumb one, two. So if you did that correctly, good for you. You can do it on your clarinet as well. Thumb, one, two. And the third note is actually the first one we learned. It's on that bottom line. Do you remember what it is? If you said E, you're correct. Do you remember the fingering? If you said thumb and one, then you're correct. Good for you. Let's play it on our instrument, thumb and one. Ready, play. Good job.